doubt about it. The F-16 Falcon, the F-15 Eagle, those are both way better than cheap, horrible, bad drones that we were reviewing on the channel like crazy. It's obvious when we start falling in love with something, isn't it? You know, we were taking a look at the channel, bringing you guys all the bad stuff. Hey, don't buy this, don't buy this, don't buy this. It's time to take a look at some of the good stuff, something that you guys will enjoy too. Something beautiful to look at like this F-16 Falcon. I love the attention to detail on this. Some people will opt out of even the landing gear on this. I've seen guys fly jets like this, not necessarily this particular model. They'll take the landing gear off, they'll take the rockets, bombs, fuel tanks off, and they'll do hand launches and belly landings and you'll get more flight performance and more flight time out of it. That's fine. I, at least as of right now, am really enjoying the look of this thing. Absolutely awesome. You know, even to the point where some of the things have hindered my performance. I had a nice, pretty smooth landing, but on a tall section of grass, my instrument on the front here got caught and snapped off. I've glued it back on, but hey, from a distance in the air, you won't know that that ever broke off, will you? Uh, well, we're gonna do a follow-up flight on this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that Maiden where I showed you the safe select mode on. I had to adjust my push rods in the back. Visually, they need my elevators actually need to look like they're up just a hair. Maybe that's how I glued it on, maybe that's how the jet performs, but I'm really happy with its performance now. Also, uh, I've not flown with that safe mode on at all uh, since that first flight. I just personally enjoy being able to do rolls and loops. This one seems to fly a little slower uh, on purpose when I want to than the F-15, and I can do just a little bit more with my elevator and loops, so I'm excited to show you that. I wanna push a little bit of my skills today and just see if I can maybe do a little inverted flight, get myself out of my comfort zone, and have fun with this F-16 Falcon. I highly encourage you guys to check out either this or the Eagle. We'll have them both linked in the description box below with my recommended transmitter and my highly recommended battery. If you're gonna buy either one, get the battery that I've got linked down there because the CG on these puppies is perfect. Let's go have some fun. Boy, the wind is shifting today. I, uh, this is actually a little YouTube magic. Abby and I just flew the F-15 Eagle and now we're getting wind in from the other direction. So, uh, hey, let's put it in the air. Full throttle, got nice steering, a little bit of elevator, and we're up. Oh yeah. What a beautiful jet in the air. I love that red tail. That's it my stands favorite part. out so well. I'm gonna get in nice and close for you guys here on the next pass. Now I noticed this one needed a little more trim for me than my Eagle. My Eagle needed almost nothing. This one, I needed to trim up when I was in the air, but once I got it trimmed, oh, it just flew perfectly. And actually, I'm just giving it a little bit more elevator now. Here we go, in for a nice low pass. Into some rolls. I feel like, oh, that was a, the wind hit that. <laughs> made it really that was a little scary. Corkscrew a little bit. Personally, I feel like the F-15 just flies a little bit better, but if you're like me, you like to grow your collection. And so you're always gonna have some, some plane or jet, whatever you're collecting, that performs just a little bit better than the others in your collection. Something you enjoy flying a little bit more, something you enjoy looking at a little bit more. This one, it's a looker, that's for sure, but it does fly well. It's just funny that the winds have started gusting up like crazy now. You got me back, Abby? Yeah, yeah, it's pushing me around the wind. It sure is, isn't it? I mean, it really just started gusting up. 
That's okay though. It's flying really well with the AS3X stabilization. Now this is still a very beginner friendly jet because not only, wow, that's fast. Jeez, you are crazy <laughs> right oh, it's now. Fast. Woo, I'm flying down the shirt. Oh my gosh. It's like. <laughs> that's okay, you see me out there? Yeah. So bug down the shirt, Abby. Jet in the air. Mug down the there. shirt trumps jet in the air. I guess. You guys missed out on a couple cool seconds. I just did a crazy stunt that I've never done before. What was that? It was not seen on camera. Do it again. Never seen by any human eyes. Oh, ever. yeah? Yeah, it was amazing. What? You almost crashed it? No. <laughs> what was it? It was nothing. I'm just messing with you. Oh. So this has safe select as an option, making it extremely beginner friendly. And as you can see, it will fly nice and docile and slow. But in order to cut through that wind and just to show off a little bit, we were going a little bit faster. I think this one has more elevator authority, which means I can really just slow it down. I've got a little bit more lift and I can do nice tight turns like that. Full throttle takeoff. This one just feels a little bit more like a real jet. I don't know what it is about it, but when I'm flying slow like that, I feel like I'm watching those larger scale, slow stunt jets. You know, you've seen them on YouTube. If you're watching this jet, this is not the first jet video you've ever seen. If it is, welcome to this amazing hobby. Get ready to spend some money. <laughs> this hobby is amazing. It's the best hobby in the world, in my opinion. E-Flight has knocked it out of the park, you guys. I love flying this. I promised some inverted flight, didn't I? Yeah. Well, let's kick it over upside down. Oh boy, that's lower than I'd like to be. But, oh, we're keeping it in the air. Okay, bear with me. My turn is wider than I normally would be. Hey, we're still inverted through that figure eight. Hands free on that straightaway. Whew. Oh, you just talk about pushing your comfort zone. That's that's inverted flying for me. Why is it like that? It shouldn't be. I'm back to not I was gonna inverted say, now. You're not inverted. <laughs> Look at that though. I can really turn this puppy sharp if I want to. Isn't that cool? This is a bank and yank flyer, you guys. There is no rudder on this, but you do have a front steerable wheel. Is that my signal to land? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring it in for a landing. You know what, we'll do one more pass, just like on the F-15 Eagle. We'll do one more pass for you guys, just because I love this thing. Look at this thing, oh, it's beautiful. Very windy. Uh, just like the Eagle, I do wish this had retracts. Here we go, we'll do a nice roll. We'll bring it in for a landing. Yeah, I wish this had retracts. Oh, it looks so good. There's our construction crew behind us. Let's bring it in nice and slow. Gusty wind, gusty wind. I'll do my best to get it close to you guys. Hey, 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 oh man. Oh, my landings have not been as pretty on this one as the Eagle, but it's on the ground, it's in one piece. It's ready to fly again. What do you guys think of having RC jets on the channel and RC planes as opposed to all those bad RC drones we were doing? Well, I'm enjoying it. I know I'm sure hopefully you guys are too. Uh, Abby and I are getting ready to have some more fun with crawlers. As the season changes, so does our RC hobby interests. We, you know, we, we kind of kind of swing. We love ground vehicles. We love planes and jets. We actually love drones too. We just had a lot of bad ones on the channel there for a while. 
has all this construction fires up around That's us. That's our cue. <laughs> yeah. If you missed it, Abby and I are getting ready to feature our first crawler kit build on the channel. Hey, just if, if you're into RC jets, that's great. I highly encourage you to check out an RC crawler. You never know, you might love it more than your jets. I guarantee you'll probably crash a little less. You know, you don't crash a crawler unless you're crawling on the cliff side. <laughs> it's all fun, we love it. And I'm really happy that I'm into jets now. This is a thing that I've always admired from a distance but realize that it's not so much different than flying like an old warbird or something. It's a blast. If you're gonna pick one of these up and you're on the fence, I don't know which one to get. If you're looking at performance, I do think the Eagle flies a little better than the Falcon, but the Falcon has a little bit more performance in my opinion. I just gotta get it trimmed out. Everything will be linked in the description box below, including this transmitter, which is a budget-friendly transmitter for Spectrum brand. This puppy will last you for a long time. It has multi-model memory, so you can pair up all your planes and jets with this, and it binds right up to these jets. You just set it on the correct mode, and you don't even have to program anything. It was amazing, I loved it. Also, the battery that we flew in both jets, I highly recommend. Yeah, you can put your small race drone batteries in there and go fly it, but the CG might be off and you might crash because of that. I highly recommend using the battery that we have put in ours. They fit perfect, they fly perfect. You get a decent flight time out of them. Uh, you'll maybe have noticed that I'm not putting a LiPo alarm in there because these suck a little more power than our Warbirds and gliders, so those sag in voltage a little faster. I'm flying for about three and a half to four minutes when I fly these two jets, just to bear that in mind. guys. All the good stuff's linked below. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.